Well, this is absolutely amazing. We've been out on those big fires. We know how essential the air attacks are, but that usually goes away by nightfall. Well, not anymore as Cal Fire now is doing this new kind of firefighting at night. is something new in the arsenal of firefighting for Cal Fire, air operations at night. Just recently we've had these devastating fires that have really um, driven us into uh, building more of a technologically advanced air force. With that comes our Black Hawk helicopter. Now we can fly at night. Now through the 16th, Cal Fire, along with the U.S. Forestry Service and the Orange County Fire Authority are doing large-scale night training. When the sun goes down, the helicopters usually go with it. We've seen just how essential the air attacks have been in fighting these recent big fires. But firefighters say the ability to continue fighting at night is a game changer. We can fight fire all day, transition those crews into a nighttime operation and continue to fight fire at night. McClellan is the statewide headquarters for CAL FIRE. There are five 24-hour operational helitac bases in California. CAL FIRE contracts for three additional helicopters and has hired twice the usual amount of pilots for the fleet this year. And there's also the Chinooks. We have uh, three Black Hawks available along with the three CH-47 Chinooks where we bring in 1,000 gallons with a Black Hawk and we're bringing 2,500 gallons with a, with a Chinook. That gives us a pretty big fleet of night aircraft and probably by 2025, we should see all of our CAL FIRE helicopters flying on fires at night and, and have that capability. It's really cool. The CAL FIRE philosophy is hitting a fire fast and hard with the goal of keeping it small and aggressively fighting it from above. If you had told me that we'd be flying Black Hawks when I first started at night dropping water, I probably wouldn't believe you. So, but here we are. So we did see a fleet take off from here at the tarmac at McClellan. Very cool. They are headed to Lake Berryessa. Another fleet will be also heading out from here at 11 p.m. It's a large scale operation that goes on all through next week for practice. Reporting live from McClellan, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.